Hello, here's an implementation of an undirected, unweighted graph in JavaScript, and we'll be using TypeScript for this, which is essentially a superset of JS. We'll start here by creating a variable which, with which we're going to instantiate a graph named friends. And here's the file from which we'll be reading our data. Let's take a look at that. It's essentially a set of vertex pairs, seven of them to be precise. And these are essentially edges in the graph. If we go down here to the graph class, we'll see that the constructor takes in this, these edges as a 2D array of pairs and creates two properties, edges and vertices, which are essentially these edges the, u the unique set of points found among the edges stored in an array of graph nodes. Now what is a graph node? That is another object which has a value and a visited status which will be useful when we're conducting searches like BFS. Here is a representation of the graph via an adjacency list. Now this is really useful for searching and other graph traversal. And what it basically is, is a JSON object with the vert vertex values as indices and its adjacent nodes stored in an array at, as the value. This is a simple helper function which returns the node given any value pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so the first implementation, the first API is implemented via isConnected. You'll pass in two values, in this case numbers or student IDs, and re return whether they are connected. Now this is done through a breadth-first search, um, a somewhat custom implementation of it which is iterative and uses a queue to store the visited notes or the notes to visit. You'll see that there's no native queue class in JavaScript, hence I've implemented a class called queue up here, which contains a few of the standard queue methods like nq, dq, and checking if the queue is empty. Second API, which returns the total number of distinct social groups among the students is implemented here and what it does is it uses BFS to traverse the graph and keeps track of when BFS reaches the end of one graph and continues under the next one. Therefore it's able to count the number of distinct groups. This one simply resets the status of all the nodes to not visited. It's a helper method. This is not directly related to the graph, but this is basically a way that when the function, when the JavaScript is loaded, it instantly reads the file and creates a graph from the data in data.txt. Now, this main function is what actually runs and creates a graph object. Let's see it in action. So let's say we want to check on any two nodes, let's say 3 and 1,000 and 3. Let's see if, let's see if they're connected. Okay, so it tells us that 3 and 1,000 are in fact connected. And it also informs us that there are three distinct groups in this data set. Looking at it, you can tell it's 700, 800, 40, 50, and 50, and 60. And finally, these are connected to these via the one, so that's the third distinct group. And that's, again, that's API 2. Now, this is an example of when two things are not connected, let's say 3 and 700. And as predicted, it reveals that they're not connected and answers correctly. Well, that's the implementation.